So with our uh, continuing conversation about cardiovascular disease, we want to get more high fiber foods, plant proteins, omega-3 fatty acids, garlic, green tea, lean meat, low fat dairy, uh, consume less saturated fat, trans fats, and sugar. And then your book talks about drug treatment uh, for high cholesterol. I'm just going to skip ahead here first. Before drug treatment, a provider should recommend therapeutic lifestyle changes, TLC diet. Um, and that's things like diet and exercise, stress management. We really want to go that route first before we hop on this drug treatment, okay? Back to the order of the slides. So when we're looking at our clients' uh, blood lipid levels, uh, we want to have their total cholesterol of their blood uh, uh, lipid less than 200 milligrams per deciliter. Okay, and then our bad cholesterol, that should be less than 100 milligrams uh, per deciliter, okay? If we have high total cholesterol or high LDL numbers, then we'll want to make sure that the provider is recommending a therapeutic lifestyle changes diet, okay? And that's, uh, like we talked about, low saturated fat, less than 10% of total calories, lower cholesterol, and then uh, the amount of calories that will help them maintain a desirable uh, weight and avoid weight gain, okay? If the LDL isn't coming down, then we'll want to amp up soluble fiber, things like beans, whole grains, um, citrus fruits that can uh, have been shown to bring down that um, LDL. If that's not successful, after a few months, then we'll try this step two, which is just a more aggressive decrease in the amount of saturated fat, okay? Okay, so what do these numbers mean? Um, LDL cholesterol, you know that that is considered our bad cholesterol, okay? And the HDL cholesterol, that's considered our uh, good cholesterol. That keeps uh, cholesterol from building up in the arteries. And then tr the triglycerides, that's a circulating form of fat in your blood, okay? When you add the LDL and the HDL together, it does not add up to the total cholesterol. So say, for instance, your LDL was 120 and your HDL was um, 80. You would think that your total cholesterol would be, two, would be 200 milligrams per deciliter, yes? No, that's not the case because we have a portion of our total cholesterol also comes from triglycerides. So if clients say, you know, listen, why, is it, why doesn't my LDL and HDL add up to my total cholesterol? The answer is that some of um, that cholesterol is from triglycerides. All right, let's take just a real short quiz here. Um, high blood cholesterol is one of the risk factors for heart disease that you can do something about. I hope that you are nodding your head that that's true. To lower your blood cholesterol level, you must stop eating meat altogether. Mm, that's false. We can have lower uh, numbers with meat. Any blood cholesterol level below 240 is desirable. That's false. Remember, it's 200. And to lower your blood cholesterol level, you should eat less saturated fat, total fat, and cholesterol lose weight if you're overweight. That's true. And the main goal of clustering lowering treatment is to lower LDL. That's true. This is a very good test question. So maybe put a circle around that or highlight that. I'm going to preface this one or um, edit this one. Saturated fats slash trans fats raise your blood cholesterol level more than anything else in your diet. That's true. Remember from your last test, many of you got that question wrong where it said that you should be more worried about the dietary cholesterol that you're consuming we should be more worried about saturated slash trans fat. All vegetable oils help lower blood cholesterol levels. That's false. Remember those palm oils and coconut oils that are high in saturated fat. And therapeutic lifestyle uh, changes diet calls for less than 10% of calories from saturated fat and less than 30 of dietary cholesterol. That's true. Well, I mean, don't need to worry about heart high blood cholesterol and heart disease that's false to equal opportunity disease and we are just as great of risk as men are and reading food labels can help you eat the heart healthy way that's true looking at things like trans fat partially hydrogenated oils um, some of those fats that we did some research on in class as well i hope you pass that little quiz that'll help you study for uh, the heart disease questions on your next exam also, under um, this week's module, you'll see a video on uh, cerebral vascular accidents or 